check. Everyone can hear me all right? Great. Um, my name is Adi Shikara. I work at Three Pillar Global. We're going to be talking about blockchain model camels. Uh, any of the strategy or business folks might know the business model canvas already, which a lot of uh, the product owners use to validate their business ideas. Uh, at Twipler, we use that a lot as well. What we saw in the industry was a lot of our clients, a lot of industry was looking to, hey, blockchain sounds great. Consensus as a company sounds great. Ethereum Foundation is all great. What the hell do I do, though? And that was a question which is coming up and up again. We saw all the entrepreneurs coming up and doing great stuff with the technology, but the enterprises were a bit stuck. So this is something we did in order to make that easier. Now, when you're involving existing business owners, it's much harder for them to you know, grasp on to a newer technology. We saw earlier on when you grow as an organization, the cost of keeping things in-house becomes hard. It, it, you are much slower than your competition. Uh, how do we help those enterprise clients to come up to speed? As a global ecosystem of, you know, we want more entrepreneurs, we want to be more stakeholders, but in order to get to that state, the quicker we get enterprise on this as well, the quicker that would happen. So in order to do that, we want to figure out a way of how do we get existing business owners to know about blockchain. If, if I have, say, a $50 million company, I want to invest $5 million in blockchain, what do I do? Right? How do I take my products and get benefit out of it? This is the blockchain model canvas uh, that we have been working on. I'm not sure how visible that is, but it's very similar to the normal business model canvas. The only difference is being we focus more on the intersection between the, your product idea and the, block, you know, the business value rather than just the business value of the product. Uh, that's how the first things of, you know, if we just quickly walk through it, system touch points. How many of these, you know, if I want to make a change of a product, how many of the systems do I need to change or how many things that I need to like, the integration pieces are changing in order to figure that out. Uh, the most interesting box is the second box on the top right, which is vertices. What all benefits am I getting out of it? If it's just, hey, um, am I getting verification? Am I getting identity? Am I getting security? Do I even, does that apply to me? Blockchain as a technology is providing that, but is it applying to my product? And that's you kind of like a simple checkbox, yes, no, yes, no. Anything else you want to put in there. Uh, you move on to your dependencies. Hey, in order to make this happen, what do I need to do? Do I just simply go out and do I need to build the tools? Do I need to uh, go out and build a wallet to make this happen? Do I have the tools all out there that I can just use and go to market tomorrow? Uh, your wallet proposition is why you're doing it, right? Now, this is exactly the same as a normal uh, canvas of you just define what your value is to the existing market. We change on the right, it's a bit different now. You focus on your demographic, which is your user, not really a user segment, but more closer on the end user that you're targeting. And then you're looking at the relationships. How are they interacting with the system right now? And what are you going to change for it? The reality of the fact is you cannot go out there in the market and tell people, understand blockchain, download Mist, and start using it, which is, would be brilliant if that could be possible. But as of right now, we just need to figure out what is the easiest way people can start using application without having to understand blockchain as a technology. Uh, MetaMask, shout out. Uh, so the second piece are your leadership and marketing skills. One of the main reasons businesses will put money into this is if they are seen as a market leader. If, I, if I'm a bank and if I can get my, all my customers to be like, hey, I'm the most digitally advanced bank, I don't mind putting uh, 50 million into something if I can get that perception in the market. So that's probably not uh, from a technical standpoint, doesn't matter, but from a business standpoint, that is the reality. So uh, if, you, if there's something that would make the people perceive it's valuable, it would be valuable at the end. Uh, time and revenue are just the end factors. What, is there cost benefit to the company, and is there a time wise, can it be delivered? Um, keeping that in mind, let's just, just look at a few examples. So uh, there's a um, 
a business model canvas uh, did a great job. They created a uh, drive slide of it that you can actually use. I copied it, made the modification. I'm going to run through some sample um, product ideas. Now, these are not real. I, they are, we have run this through real clients. Probably I, we, we have not signed, like the NDA states, we can't share it, but I can definitely just you know, do an idea and run you through it. So the most famous one. I want to change the entire banking industry of the entire world, and all transactions that happen there will happen on blockchain. Brilliant idea. I, I, I think this is one of the key pieces of the financial industry wants to focus on, where the entire system is connected. All banks are on the same blockchain, and you are able to um, send money globally without any fees instantly. Great. What do I need to do to make that happen? I need to touch you know, this, my banking accounts, my profiles, or get all the systems to hook together, get every bank to be on the same network, hook up to the CRM. And yeah, so these not, might not be real. This, this is what I'm saying. It's an example. So I'm not saying these are the exact ones, but just an example of what uh, you, know, you would think about. What is this? It, every single benefit of blockchain is there. So if I am able to do this, I get all of it. Uh, problem, dependencies. I actually need to convince every single bank out there to join my network and be like, hey, uh, the end goal, and this is very product specific. So what the pranks and transaction I'm talking about, all banks are on it. So in order to make that, this specific vision happen, I need all the bankings to be on the same network. Uh, able to get users to use digital wallets, uh, which you know, people just perception-wise might not say no, and this is not something we feel comfortable with, getting over that barrier. Um, but lots of value propositions, dot, 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 is just, you know, uh, there are too many to list. But moving a bit on the right side, yeah, at the end, what is the user benefit? Well, it's the same transaction people do today. It's not like banking would change drastically. It's just I can do transfer instantly. So the interaction from the user side, I don't need to understand blockchain. It's just the same thing. I'm just being able to do that instantaneously, which is a big value. Um, you see the revenue piece, that translates into real revenue. If you can do, if you can do faster transactions, you'll do more transactions. Uh, there are companies out there that are trying this already. Circle is doing this. Uh, but doing it as, if everyone doing it and banks started doing it, then that's a very big value proposition. Time, high on complexity, need a lot of tools to make it happen, have a lot of uh, you know, dependencies that need to be worked on. So, all right, fine. I ran through the idea. Probably took, what, 10 minutes to, uh, if you were with, working with your team, you, know, you get your product in, owner involved, you get a couple of devs involved. Probably take about 10 to 15 minutes to run through this. Great. Guess what? We have a 30 minute slot, so we're going to run through another time. <laughs> we're going to run through another idea. Um, so the next one, I have this problem that whenever someone comes in, and I'm talking from the point of view of a bank, whenever someone comes in, I need to open a bank account. It's very hard for me to you know, fill up out, out of paperwork. That paperwork is then you know, sent to a, a banker who would put it in, in his system. That system then sends off to a approval stage that comes back and says, hey, can you get the account holder to come in and sign some documents, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's probably around three to five days. Uh, it's horrendous. Right. Customers don't like it. Customers want their bank account the same day. Uh, they want it in the same second. And you know, people, the banks need to be able to verify that information in order to do that. They can't as of right now. So if we were to solve this problem, what do we need to do? Right. We put all our documents in Salesforce or whatever CRM that is there. That's about it. Uh, we use EtherSign to actually get and this is theoretical, right? So we use EtherSign to actually get the account holders to digitally sign their uh, documents, get it verified. It still gives us a decent list of vertices we are touching. It's probably not all, but it still gives a lot. Uh, value position is much higher because you know, there's still a lot of benefits you're getting out of it. Um, a lot of you know, you know, people would be affected, not just existing uh, account holders, but new account holders, banks themselves. But more importantly, there's revenue again. You're getting revenue because if you can shut down any time scale 
to be much smaller, there are direct revenue right over there you can capture. So that looks good. So let's have a comparison, right? This versus that. And that's all, that's all a business owner needs to see. And it kind of, all right, this sounds good. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Let's release it next month. Uh, so that's you know, just how we have used blockchain model canvas of uh, deciding what products to build. Normally, what you would do is you'll get all your ideas together. Probably it might be 10, 15. You run through this uh, like probably a uh, two-hour session, run it through your team. And at the end, you can see you can literally compare them, put it on a whiteboard, see which top three ideas are there that you really think that can happen in the next quarter, given the existing tools. And this might change. You know, tomorrow, if you run these ideas back three months from now, this might become something your priorities change, things become easier. But for right now, if you do this, I'm pretty sure at least one of those ideas would be there that you, you'll be released, saying probably what, in Q1 next year. And yeah, if you do that, if you do work with this, with your company, with your clients, then maybe we can actually take Ethereum or just the blockchain and the decentralized networks to the enterprises as well. Um, that's really all. I don't think we have any time for questions. I would say in case, um, you know, if you don't have any application, that is actually, this is a code that is being used a lot, which is, it's great that people, you know, talk about blockchain a lot, but once, if you don't get to production, there's not much learning. Not, you're not, you're just talking. So whatever we do, we actually have to get products out there, usable uh, by users, and that's the only way we validate uh, that all of the things we talk about are real. So if anyone wants to, you know, ask questions and get a copy of this, I guess we might be able to share a slide with this. Yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, probably whatever. Any questions? Yeah, we have time for one question. Yeah. About the blockchain model canvas. Well, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact Adi and uh, give it up. Thank you. Thank us.